Hey, welcome to the No Bullshit Guide on React Router version 6. So before we jump into version 6, let's take a look at what we mainly used in the previous version. So most of the time through things. The first thing, defining routes with router, route, switch, and redirect. And we used hooks, mainly use history, use params, and use location. That's all what we're going to cover in this video. So you will learn how to do all of these things but then in version six, and we'll have a bonus as well, uh, which is about nested routes, which is a great feature of version six. So I just created a totally fresh React app, got rid of the files I don't need, and I also installed React Router, which you can do yourself as well by saying npm install React Router. Done, just like that. And of course I have my app running right now. So right in here, I will bring in browser router from react router dom and in there i will render routes also coming from react router and a route just have to import these oh, come on and the route as well and now right here route has a couple of properties first of all we want to use path so if we want to navigate a um, user to the dashboard component when they are hitting our um, dashboard page then i can say that the path should be dashboard and the element should render the dashboard component just like that and we can do the exact same for profile just like that so now when i save it and i go to slash dashboard you will see that the dashboard component will render and when i go to profile the profile component will render so now i can imagine you're wondering now what about the switch and redirect because as you can see these are not existing so if you, for example, well, let's say you go right now to like the route, uh, like the root of our app, nothing will render. So let's imagine right here, we want to um, let the users know they are on a page that is not found. Then you could do something like this. You can use an asterisk right here. And then some right here, you could, for example, render a not found component, right? So for now, we'll just bring in a paragraph tag it says not found just like that right so whenever you go to a route that doesn't exist you will see the not found component or in this case the uh, paragraph with the text not found now you might want to re re you know redirect the user maybe after a couple of seconds back to maybe your home page or uh, or something like that or have a button on there but I would definitely not recommend you to immediately redirect back to the home page because um, you know from the SEO perspective that's just not a good thing to do so what about hooks now except for use history use params and use location still work the same as compared to the previous version however use history is now called use navigation and i will give you a quick demo of how that looks like so let's say we want to um, be able to uh, get users from the dashboard over to the profile page of course right here we could use something like i'll just wrap this in a paragraph tag of course you could use link just like that and then you can say link to um, profile however in this case we want to not add profile to the url but we just want to want them to immediately go to the profile page so that's why i'll have that slash right here and then we can say go to profile page and now when i will go to the dashboard page and i click here we'll go to profile However, sometimes it's not possible to do it like this and you want to push a user based on maybe a certain piece of logic. So let's say we have a button right here. It's called profile page. And we have an on-click function. Um, 
for example with a set timeout of two seconds and then we can say right here const navigate is use navigate just import that from react router dom so this is where we in the previous version used use history but now it's use navigate and then we can say navigate to the profile page and then i have to pass the on click function right there and now when i go to dashboard and i click on the profile page after two seconds we are redirected to the profile page and if you have never used use params then let me quickly show you how to use it as well so in the previous version we would probably have done something like this and now let's say um, you can navigate to profile slash and then i don't know like the user id we would have done something like that right so we would say user id and then right here in the profile component we could say const grab the name from the params and then we could render something like profile um with the uh, with the user id oh sorry i said name of course that should be user id just like that so now you go to the profile page but if you would have like an id in here it would show that right here because it's able to grab the params now react router is a little smarter because you can make use of so-called nested routes so what you could do is you could bring under like a child under this route so let me just do that route just like that So now instead of having to say profile right here, we can just remove that because React Router is already understanding that this is a child of profile. So this is the same as we did before. And now when I save the file, you will see that we still have, when we pass in a user ID, you will see the user ID, but also the profile page is still accessible. However, there's one really cool thing you can do with this and that's making use of the outlet component. So let's imagine you have a profile page, but within that profile page, you can have multiple components that render maybe a profile stats or profile data and well, different components inside of the profile page. So in that case, let's just make a new component right here. Components and let's call this profile data. like that and now right in here I can say that if for example user navigates to profile slash data just like that we want to render the profile data component and now what you will see would happen if I never go to navigate to profile slash data nothing will render right here but that's because right now within that profile component we need to and in order for me to do that i'll just have to put this inside of a paragraph tag and then right here we can render outlet which also comes from react router and now you will see it will also render the profile data which in my opinion is a really great feature and also makes you think differently about creating web apps right so right now we have that profile uh, component which kind of like acts as a wrapper and inside of there we can just have different components but we don't have to well necessarily care about the um, profile component because that's already being rendered for us so that's definitely a great feature of react router version 6. if you like to see more react related content please subscribe to the channel if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.